My name is Habiba Nursheen, and I recently went to Nepal with my colleague Anoop Kafale to report for the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. The average income in Nepal is less than 450 U.S. dollars a year, and the country has been plagued with civil war and political turmoil over the last decade. Nearly half of the population here is unemployed. Ultimately, all the stories we ended up reporting on were in some way informed by the economic condition of people in Nepal. The country has suffered from a 10-year-long Maoist insurgency, which nearly wrecked its once booming tourism industry. Uh, my name is Kishore Thapa. I'm the Secretary of Tourism and Civil Aviation of the Government of Nepal. As the tourism minister Kishore Thapa told us, Nepal now hopes to boost the country's tourism by attracting gay and lesbian tourists. The other story we looked into was sex trafficking of Nepalese women, some as young as 12 years old. On this day, they're undergoing music therapy, which is part of their rehabilitation, so they can heal from the trauma. The U.S. State Department estimates that 12,000 Nepali women and children are trafficked to Indian brothels every year. This organization, Shakti Sumaha, was started by victims of sex trafficking like Sunita Dunavar. Her organization rescues victims of sex trafficking and teaches them skills like sewing and hairdressing. और जो सम जैसा समस्या मुझे हुआ आ, मैं चाहती हूं कि और लड़की लोग को नहीं हो सुनीता says she hopes that the training these girls get at Shakti Sumaha will help keep them off the streets for good